Having a good strong core is essential to be able to move efficiently and most importantly, be able to do our favorite sports to their maximum potential. So today, we're gonna to be sharing our top simple core exercises that you can follow along to from your own home. Well, we've got five core exercises for you guys today and you can simply follow along if you like at home and just pause each one as we explain what we're doing and then you've got our time to complete the full exercise. But before we share them, just a quick reminder, if you want to support the channel, we would love it if you gave this video a like and if you clicked on the globe and subscribed, even the bell icon so you don't miss any of our videos. But the first one in our list of five today is the side plank with a hip raise and this might sound no harder than the front plank but you're removing some of the base of support so it's surprisingly difficult and we're adding in the extra challenge of the hip raise but to start with obviously you've got to get your side plank position so you've got options here you can simply have your arms straight or you can go on your elbow whichever's more comfortable it's still going to be just as hard and then with your feet again you've got the option here of one foot on top of the other or simply having one foot in front of the other and then once you've got that position nailed, we can explain the next step. From this position, simply lift your hips up off the floor until they are in line with your shoulders. You also need to consider the other plane. Is your body making a straight line if you looked from above? Basically, the straighter, the better in all directions, including your head. Make sure you don't drop that as it's a continuation of your body. Aim to hold this tight position for 30 seconds before transferring to the other side. Take a rest and then repeat three times or move on to the next exercise and repeat the whole group of exercises three times through. Okay, and then the progression that we talked about at the start is the hip drop stroke hip raise. So from your plank position, you can simply drop your hips down to just touch the ground and then bring them back up to that perfect straight line we talked about. And you can continually do this movement for 30 seconds and it's harder than it looks and you will start to get the shake on. And if you wanna go another step further again, and this is one which I admit I find really hard, is in your plank position, keeping your hips completely still, you're gonna simply, with your top leg, lift it up towards the ceiling. So you're keeping it straight and you're using your hips, your glute muscles to try to lift that leg up while still stabilizing in the plank position. Once you've got it as high as you can, bring it back down, rest it on the top and repeat that continually for the 30 seconds on each side. The core includes all areas of the trunk and therefore we must remember to include muscles in the posterior chain. Superman begins rather nasty, lying on your front and requires some conscious engagement of the posterior muscles, particularly the glutes. Start with the arms extended above your head, face down and legs out straight. Think of squeezing the muscles at the back of your body, your bottom muscles especially. Then lift one leg upwards with your foot leaving the ground and your knee slightly too. Pause at the top and lower down, then repeat on the other side, all the time squeezing your glutes. Once you're happy with that movement, it is time to challenge your coordination a little by adding in the arms. Lift the opposite diagonal arm at the same time as the leg, keeping your head still. Note this movement is about control and not range. Each of us will have different amounts of flexibility, but that is not what we are testing. We are waking up and working the muscles along the posterior chain. Start by aiming for 30 to 45 seconds of continuous movement at a time. If you're finding this movement a little bit challenging and struggling to maintain control, then you can make it a little bit easier by bending your lower leg and lifting only the upper portion of your leg off the floor. This is normally an easier position for activating the glutes. Well, this one is one of my favorites, partly due to the name, but also because you get to lie down on your back for this one. Who doesn't like an exercise that does that? Again, this one's gonna require coordination and it's going to really work the core in what is known as the diagonal sling, which is very transferable to running. Imagine a dead bug, arms and legs in the air, arms extended to the ceiling above your head, legs bent, but a bit more structure, so shins parallel to the ground and hips and knees bent. Keep it simple by starting just with the legs and extend one at a time in a 45 degree angle away from you in a slow controlled movement. Return to the starting position and take the other leg out. Whilst focusing purely on the legs, you can pop one hand in the small of your back to make sure there is not a gap lifting up. Your stomach being engaged should eliminate any lift of your back off the floor, ensuring a strong core and a safe and controlled movement. 
Now once you're happy with the leg movement, now it's time to add in the arms and you're going to do a similar action as you did with the Superman exercise. You're going to move the opposite arm simultaneously with the opposite leg in a nice, smooth, controlled manner. So aim for 60 seconds at a time, but keep an eye on the control around your lower back. For this exercise, you remain on your back and you're going to basically be pivoting sort of on your bottom stroke your hips. So you're going to bring your head and shoulders off the ground slightly and bringing your knees up so your feet are hovering off the ground as well. So you're in this almost a bit of a V shape with your hips. And from there, you're going to bring your hands together in the middle as though you're imagining you're holding a sort of small beach ball or something similar and for the moment we're just going to use imagination because we don't want to add the weight to start with and you're simply going to rotate and drop your hands still keeping them together or close together down towards one side so that they touch the ground or just before touching the ground if you can't control that far bring them back to the middle and rotate to the other side and during this movement you'll find that you're naturally your legs and knees will move slightly in the opposite direction in this twisting style of motion. I find this exercise quite easy to know which muscles you're working. The rotation is again really helpful for a strong running position. And this is simple to progress, just find something you can hold in your hands and that added weight will become more noticeable as you rotate past the center line of the body. Don't go too heavy to start as control is key as with all of these exercises. And depending on whether body weight or an actual weight, aim for between 30 to 60 seconds per rep. Back to me and back to me lying down for one last simple but pretty tough exercise. You didn't think we'd leave this one out, did you? The plank. The plank is pretty simple. You can do it on your elbows or on your hands. And basically you're gonna rock onto your feet, hold it in this position with a straight line between your elbows, your hips and your feet. And then you're simply gonna hold that for 30 to 60 seconds or as long as you can. Be aware of your form as you fatigue and check your hips don't start to sag or even lift. Another compensation movement that we often see. Of course, if you find this too easy, there are ways to make it harder, such as up-downs. Now, these are simple, but they are hard. You're gonna swap between whichever you started on and the other position. So if you started on your hands, you're gonna swap down to elbows and then back up again and keep repeating this. It takes a, a bit of your mind off the shaking core, but it is really hard. And remember to swap the direction every five seconds or so, so that you're not always starting with the same hand up and the same hand down. If that's not tempting, another simpler but perhaps more difficult progression is the leg lift. Not too much explanation needed here. Simply hold that plank position and then you're gonna shift your weight so that one of your legs can come off the ground. Hold it for a few seconds and lower it again and then repeat with the other leg. Remember to keep your body as straight and as still as possible, keeping it under control and continue this movement without rushing. I gotta say, I can really feel my core working after just a couple of quick demos. If you are planning to follow along, then I'd recommend actually running through it another couple of times to really feel the benefits. And the beauty of this is you can literally perform this anywhere from your own home and fit it in amongst your working day. Well, thanks for joining. I hope you've enjoyed it.